China and Japan share a lengthy history marked by rivalry and conflict, dating back to the late 19th century. These two major Asian nations have consistently vied for influence and resources within the region, frequently clashing over territorial disputes, historical grievances, and military ambitions. While China has risen to the status of a global superpower with a formidable arsenal, encompassing conventional and nuclear weapons, Japan has been proactive in safeguarding its security and maintaining its standing. In a surprising development, Japan recently declared a successful test of an exceptionally powerful and unique weapon, capturing China's attention. This groundbreaking weapon is none other than the world's first laser rail gun, signaling Japan's commitment to staying at the forefront of defense capabilities. Recent reports indicate that Japan achieved a significant milestone by testing a medium-caliber electromagnetic rail gun on an offshore platform. This move is seen as a strategic response to escalating regional threats, particularly China's hypersonic missiles. Collaborating with the Acquisition Technology and Logistics Agency, a division of the Japanese Ministry of Defense, the Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force conducted the test. However, specific details about the test, such as its timing and particulars, remain limited. Notably, this test marked the first instance globally of a maritime rail gun being successfully deployed on an offshore platform. Japan's objective is to deploy this rail gun on both land and at sea, representing a noteworthy advancement in cutting-edge technology. Reports from Shepard Media previously highlighted that the rail gun developed by Japan currently utilizes 5 megajoules of charge energy, enabling it to propel projectiles at a speed of approximately 2,230 meters per second. The agency's goal is to further enhance the rail gun's capabilities by operating with 20 megajoules of charge energy. The announcement of this achievement was made by the Acquisition Technology and Logistics Agency on Platform X formerly known as Twitter, accompanied by impressive video footage showcasing the rail gun in action, demonstrating the firing of projectiles from various angles. The demonstration of this technology was a remarkable event. Additionally, in early 2022, the Japanese Ministry of Defense announced its decision to develop an electromagnetic weapon system as a countermeasure against hostile hypersonic missiles. This decision underscores Japan's dedication to enhancing its defense capabilities in response to emerging threats. Furthermore, the Acquisition Technology and Logistics Agency disclosed that it is actively progressing in the development of an electromagnetic rail gun. According to a spokesperson from the agency, they have been studying rail gun technologies since the financial year 2016, focusing on enhancing launch velocity and establishing material technologies for the rails with high current endurance characteristics. An electromagnetic rail gun operates by utilizing electromagnetic force to propel high-velocity projectiles. The fundamental principle involves creating a robust magnetic field between two parallel metal rails and using it to accelerate a sliding armature carrying the projectile. The armature completes an electric circuit between the connected rails and a power source. As current flows through the circuit, a magnetic force is generated, propelling the armature and projectile along the rails. The acceleration increases as the armature moves faster, resulting in a stronger magnetic force, ultimately launching the projectile at exceptionally high speeds. Electromagnetic rail guns offer several advantages over traditional firearms utilizing chemical propellants, including higher muzzle velocity, extended range, lower cost, and reduced explosive risk. However, they also pose certain challenges such as high power consumption, large size, rail erosion, and thermal stress. Since 2012, Japan has been actively developing its railgun technology, with the primary objective of enhancing its defense capabilities against a broad spectrum of aerial threats at sea. These threats include incoming hypersonic crews and ballistic missiles. Japan's strategic plan involves mounting rail guns on selected destroyers, and multi-purpose missile defense vessels equipped with improved power generation capabilities. The Ministry of Defense is committed to progressing steadily towards the practical deployment of rail guns, aiming to expedite the reinforcement of Japan's defense capabilities. The integration of rail gun systems with long-range missiles has been a long-standing interest for Japan, reflecting its comprehensive defense strategy against aerial threats. Although specific details about the deployment on Japan's fleet are not available, 
Indications suggest that rail guns may be installed on certain vessels of the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force destroyers. This move is considered crucial due to the vulnerability of Japanese destroyers to the development of long-range missiles by regional adversaries. Additionally, the Acquisition Technology and Logistics Agency has expressed intentions to equip land-based trucks with rail guns specifically, designed for engaging hypersonic missiles, highlighting Japan's proactive stance in defense against advanced threats. Previously, Japan had planned to enhance its ballistic missile defense capabilities through the Aegis Ashore land-based system. However, in 2020, the Japanese government decided to abandon this plan. The current approach focuses on integrating rail gun interceptors into the existing missile defense system, with consideration given to the use of long-range missiles that enable targeting from a distance. These systems would collaborate to establish a three-tier defense mechanism, effectively addressing vulnerabilities in Japan's missile response capabilities. Operators can fine-tune the firing speed of interceptors from rail guns by controlling the amount of electrical power utilized a decision-making process based on the approaching speed of incoming missiles. Rail guns, due to the compact size of their projectiles, maintain considerable stealth, providing a tactical advantage in missile defense. Anticipated to become operational in the latter half of the 2020s, the next-generation rail gun system aims not only to grant Japan long-range missile capabilities, but also multiple interception capabilities. Notably, Japan has persisted in its commitment to developing electromagnetic rail gun technology, in contrast to the decision by the U.S. military not to pursue it. While full incorporation of the system will require multiple rounds of testing and improved platform integration, recent successful tests demonstrate significant progress. The impetus for this development lies in the escalating concern over hypersonic weapons from regional adversaries like China, North Korea, and Russia. These advanced hypersonic missiles present a formidable challenge to Japan's security, prompting a proactive response. Japanese policymakers emphasize not only intercepting incoming missiles, but also preventing their launch in the first place. They perceive this technology as a preventive measure capable of sending a strong message to potential aggressors. In response to evolving threats, Japan actively enhances its defense capabilities and military readiness. This includes plans to expedite the procurement of Tomahawk missiles, known for their effectiveness in long-range precision strikes. Moreover, Japan is dedicated to advancing its proprietary long-range missile technology, aiming for increased flexibility and control in addressing diverse security challenges. Additionally, Japan is actively pursuing the capability to target adversary military bases, a measure that could serve as a deterrent against potential aggressors, especially in response to China's more assertive stance. The investment in these advanced military technologies aligns with Japan's comprehensive strategy to ensure effective responses to emerging threats, uphold regional security, and foster peace in the Asia-Pacific region. Japan's apprehensions regarding North Korea's missile capabilities have escalated due to the significant expansion of North Korea's arsenal, now incorporating numerous hypersonic weapons. Just a year ago, North Korea launched a ballistic missile over Japanese territory, ultimately landing in the Pacific Ocean to the east. In response to this ongoing threat, Japan has vocally affirmed its commitment to intercepting any North Korean missile that crosses its airspace. The incorporation of rail guns, into Japan's defense strategy is considered a substantial stride in enhancing its ability to defend against such threats. Beyond concerns related to North Korea, Japan faces increasing anxieties about regional security, particularly in light of China's rapid technological advancements. China has successfully developed heat-seeking hypersonic missiles, surpassing the United States in this technological advancement. These sophisticated missiles are specifically engineered to target high-value assets, including aircraft carriers and mobile vehicles. This revelation has heightened concerns in Japan, prompting a consideration of advanced defense technologies such as rail guns to effectively counteract these emerging threats. Military experts underscore the strategic significance of rail guns in addressing a spectrum of aerial threats at sea. With their capability to propel projectiles at exceptionally high speeds, rail guns emerge as an attractive option for thwarting incoming hypersonic cruise missiles, and potentially even hypersonic ballistic missiles. What are your thoughts on this matter? 
Do you believe Japan is right in seeking more powerful weapons? Share your thoughts in the comment section below.